Okay, now let's begin the data, Oracle database installation process. So first, here, the first the email. Okay, in my case, I will use char.com and the security update. No, okay, next. Okay, here, next. Okay, continue. Mm. Okay, so here, the, in my case, the I will the select this one, create and configure database. If you select this one, maybe it will take more time than the other process. So, okay, next. And the desktop class and the server class. I will, in my case, I will select the server class. And the grid, so in my case, uh, so here, just a single instance database installation. Okay, next. And the typical installation and the advanced installation. So here you can the select this one or typical or advanced. So in my case, I will select the typical. Okay, Oracle base. In my case, I will use this one U01 application Oracle. And the location will be here. And uh, Okay, database file location uh, also this one, Aura data and uh, database edition in my case use the enterprise edition. So here you can the select the standard or enterprise. So in my case, I will select the enterprise and the uh, DBA group. This one will be the DBA and the global database name. So later when you access to the web you if uh, in, in uh, here you will use the, this name and the uh, admin password so you have to configure the admin password so in my case so after you the successful installation you have to the start the oracle interface oracle the database so in this case maybe you can use this uh, password okay so let's go to the next okay yes so now inventory directory okay or oh, install okay so now the in my case the to install the Oracle database, we need a lot of the packages. So in my case, now I failed to install these two packages. So now I need these two packages more. So first, uh, library AIO DVL and the PDK SH. Okay, so now try to install using YUM. Okay, here, let's uh, install. Okay, I am successful to install this one. And one more thing, PDKSH. So in my case, in the Yum directory, no package PDKS, uh, PDKSH available. So I already install and uh, download this file. So here I will install using RPM PD, PDK. Okay, now I am successful. Then the, let's go back to the installation, the process. Okay, here, now the check again. So now, now I am successful. Okay, then now the here, finish. Then the Oracle will start the all installation process. Okay, here you can see the some information after database creation complete. So the global database name will be the orcl. In my case, orcl.com, and the SID the orcl, and the home directory here, and the database control URL. So here, 
in my case, the server datcell.com clone the port number 1158-EM. And if you click the password management here, so now the, this kind of users is uh, locked. So here I will use, uh, okay, where is, uh, now only the sys and the system can use. So here I uh, will, okay, in my case I will the unlock the Scott and the password will be, okay, okay, confirm. Okay. Yes. So okay. So now I need to the execute the configuration the script first. The user application the Aura inventory here. Aura install root dot sh and uh, one more thing root dot sh. So now okay. You make a time stay here. So let's Aura install. Okay, then one more thing. Oracle home direct db home root dot sh. So okay, Oracle and uh, product and the version number and have that db home. Okay, so here. I need to execute this one. So root. So in the full path of the local the bin directory, okay, enter. So now let's go back here. Okay. So here we can see the installation of Oracle database was the successful. So if I access here the URL, I can see the information of the Oracle. Okay, close. Okay, here. Now let's uh, create the Oracle starter file. Etc. Rc. Dot. In it, Oracle like this. Oracle first time does not support this file, so you have to create this file by yourself. So here, especially please check the Oracle home directory, in my case, using this file, this directory. Application, Oracle product, this one, db home, and about one, like this. And the Oracle user, in my case, using Oracle. Uh, okay, the others, okay. And one more thing. It is see the aura tab. So now the line number 23, so we have to change this one from N to Y. Yes, like this. Okay. Then now we are ready and have that the 755 etc dot in it oracle. And after that, if we want to the add this one, to the run level and that Oracle oh sorry CSK config the Oracle on list then now non level two three four five is registered and after that service Oracle start okay now it's a started oracle and after that let's check the process and the port number so now there are so many the process by the oracle user oracle like this and the port number normally this one use Okay, now the port number here. So now Oracle is uh, started uh, successfully. And uh, now, okay, let's go back. Okay, here we need to the uh, create create the Oracle the 
script. So here, I already show you this one. So it's special please check the your Oracle home directory and the username. And after that, the etc order tag, we have to change this file from and to yes. And after that, permission and the add to the run level and the activate. And after that, Oracle start. Port number, please check the 1521. So now the step seven, how to connect the Oracle database first. Start the listener. Listener means the tool to uh, allow the users to, to access from limited to Oracle database. So if you want to use this one, you have to change your the UID to Oracle like this. And after that, if you use this comment, then you can see the status of the Oracle listener. And if you want to stop or start, then you can use this comment. And the connect oracle so in the linux system you can connect like this in this case maybe your id will be the system the data the database administrator and if you want to use some user then you can use like this so after connected to oracle database you can see you can use this kind of comment to see the some information for example user information and the budget information and the table information like this and uh, number two, connect Oracle using Oracle SQL Developer on Windows 7. So now I must uh, successfully to install Oracle database on the CentOS. Now the Oracle database is working on CentOS. So in this case, maybe if I want to connect Oracle database from Windows, then I can use this kind of program, SQL Developer. So please download this program from Oracle website if you want this one. Okay, then the, let's try here. Okay, now the I already the started the Oracle database. So here let's. Uh, okay, so now I'm the Oracle user. So here let's check the listener. LSNR CTL status. So now the listeners, the, this one already the button numbers and uh, okay here logo and the, this one already in my case the instance name is uh, ORCL so now this one is uh, working well. So now here let's try to connect to the Oracle interface so SQL plus okay before you start this one uh, please check the um, okay here so here let's go to the product and okay here db home so if we go to the bin so now I'm staying here. So here there are so many Oracle the binary files. So here maybe the Oracle user can use this kind of command in this directory. So here let's try to use SQL plus. So now I'm successful to connect to the Oracle database. So here let's try to use some command show user. In my case now I the connected to Oracle Database as your system database, database administrator. Or select from if you want to see the button number, so we can see now the button number like this. The Oracle Database 11G Enterprise Edition release 11.2.0.10 uh, like this. Or select from tab then you can see many all kinds of the table information here so now i'm successful to connect the oracle database from the linux or so in this case uh, already the during the installation process i already unlocked the user scott uh, with a new password tiger so here show user so now, I, now I'm a Scott. So now I'm a successful to connect the Oracle database on 
the Linux system. Now let's try to connect to Oracle database using Oracle SQL Developer on Windows. So in my case, I already download and extract this one. So here let's start SQL Developer. Double click. Then this one will be start. Okay, if you do start Oracle SQL, you can see this kind of the screen. So here first, let's try to connect Oracle database. This is now this um is the implemented on the Windows 7. So here let's click file and the new and the here database database connection. Okay, click. So you can see this kind of comment. So here you have to the configure some the information. In my case, first the connection name is so sys and the uh, username sys and the password and uh, this one and the role will be system the dba and the host name in my case uh, ip address 192.168.85 and the port number 1521 and the sid orca like this so here the first time you can test so here you can see i mean the success and after that connect okay now i'm all successful so here you can see so many informations so for example let's try to to use the SQL, select from button number, and after that, let's click. Then you can see this kind of information as well, like a Linux system. Okay, so far, I show you how to install Oracle the 11GR2 the database on CentOS 6.4. Thank you for watching my video and God bless you.